Hey guys, how are you? Today I am back with another audio and this audio will be focusing on how animals defend themselves, which is like the second part of attack and defense. So I hope we have fun learning and before we begin, here's just a fun piece of information about animals. Did you know that uh, Japanese in Japanese, cats are called Neko and dogs are called Inu? It's actually very cute and because I love Japanese, I love to share it with people, I guess. So anyway, let's start. First, we have poison glands. If attacked by a hunter, a toad defends itself by inflating its body with air and oozing poisons from its skin. This makes it hard to eat and also makes it taste unpleasant, so its enemy is most likely to leave it alone. Talk about annoying, but at least the pictures are cute. Next we have camouflage. The best defense is to avoid being noticed at all. Camouflage makes animals hard to see against their background. The mountain hare turns white in winter to match the snow. Talk about matching. You know, one thing is uh, wearing matching clothes and the other thing is this, right? It's very cute, actually. Then we have spines. Some animals have defensive armor. Others, like a porcupine, bristle with long, sharp spines. This can make them almost impossible to attack and even dangerous to animals that try. You know, I've seen videos where people try to touch a hedgehog or a porcupine, but they always, always end up regretting it because it stings. I've seen it in movies too, right? Then we have playing dead. Many hunters will only eat prey that they have killed themselves. Some animals, like the opossum, takes advantage of this by playing dead if threatened. An opossum may keep up the pretense for up to six hours. But that first part, many hunters will only eat prey that they have killed themselves. I mean, the pride. I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong, but sometimes there may be a situation that animals are so hungry that they don't care about the food that they have killed or not. They just care if it's food and if it's edible. And why are they not eating it if it's like that? But I know, I know about pride. I think everybody should have their own pride, right? Then we have noxious smell. Skunks are notorious for the wild smelling fluid that they spray from scent glands under their tails if attacked. They can aim accurately up to 2 meters, that is 6.5 feet, often targeting the faces of their enemies. Isn't that a much, like, too much bit of a prank? That's what I think anyway. Last but not the least, safety in numbers. Solitary animals make easy targets, so many try to confuse their uh, enemies by living in dense shoals, flocks, or herds. By staying close together, the shoal looks like one big fish rather than lots of little ones. Talk about the trickster, right? So, unfortunate as it is, this is where we part our ways. So, thank you guys for listening so patiently, and I hope you found this audio fun. So, I guess I will see you guys later, and if you have anything that you want to request, like the, do this audio or do this video, I am open to all requests. Thank you guys, have a nice day, keep reading, keep learning, and keep watching. Have a nice day and um, bye.